Oh, hello, be right with you, hon. Oh, okay. Easy there, pushy. Just give me your forms. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you're completely new, ain't ya? Well, not to worry. The Reintegration of Exile Personas Associated LLC, TMCR, is gonna get you all sorted out. Oh, but first, let me click on this tongue spell. Forget my manners. There you go. Now it's a little easier for somebody to understand me, isn't it? I know. It's a wonder. Now where were we? Oh, right. So you are what the citizens of Mortacity call a fringer. That is, someone from the outside. Or rather, someone from the outside who hasn't settled in or given up hope of leaving yet. So, you get a fancy little slideshow, a history lesson, and then your forms, and then you're done. So, let's get to it, Fringer. A long time ago. Actually, not that long ago, if I'm being honest. There are some of the longer-lived of our citizens that legit remember this. This world was thriving and awesome. All those fancy things other societies can merely dream of. Altensia had it in spades. That was because they learned to tap into an infinite energy source called Ether. Now, are you from a magic society? Imagine finding a well of magical power that never runs dry. Or for you tech-minded in the audience and group here, it's like discovering the secrets to cold fusion. Whatever that is. Either way, the Altensians wanted and needed for nothing. And then came the Day of Brilliance, or B-Day for short. Ether began surging through the planet and everything living on it. Essentially, the Altensians realized that they couldn't close the faucet to this magic spigot that they'd turned on, or dam up the river of power, or break apart and heat up the cold fusion. So, either started spilling out, unchecked and raw and wild. It was pure chaos. Life was warped, minds were twisted. The Altensians did everything they could to try and burn up and spend all the ether. They started wars, they launched into space, they hopped dimensions, they explored the plains, they tried ascending. Anything you can imagine, they gave it a shot. It wasn't enough. So, the planet, drenched in ether, started phasing in and out of existence, doing all sorts of wild stuff, breaking apart, putting itself back together. Other peoples and dimensions started bouncing in and out of here like it was in a galactic kega. You know what I mean. Now, eventually, the Altensians were able to make ten cities like this one just to hold its population and the growing population of exiled personas. That's you. You see, the rest of the world is made up of what we call aether fields. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, but sometimes other wares are there. You ever heard of a story back home of someone vanishing into thin air? They probably ended up here. Or rather, in one of those aether fields. So, the ten cities had to start regulating magic and ether use, because without the right eldritch machines, big things like teleportation and plane of travel just sort of break apart what little safety the cities do have. Of course, some cities didn't like it, they went to war, the world broke a little bit more, city 7, 8, city 9, blah blah blah, bad stuff, bad stuff, bad stuff, and then you showed up. This is city 10. Or Decatopolis. Or Decayopolis, if you're fatalistic. Or Mortacity. The mortal city with the audacity to live to capacity in the face of infinity. If you're spunky like me. Few things to know. The city is run by corporations, guilds, organizations, and crime syndicates aplenty, but they all adhere to the strict rule. No large-scale warfare. Anything more than a dozen people throwing down is the potential to cause an eighth of breach and break down what little reality we've got left in this place. So instead, disputes are settled through questing. There are dozens of leagues and rules and sponsors, but that's how the big boys settle all their disputes. Now, what could a lowly solo like you get from all this? I don't know. Fame, fortune, the chance to go home? <laughs> Basically, when you're surrounded by nothing but infinite possibilities constantly folding in around you, you can have whatever you want. If you're good enough. All right, one more thing. I don't know what a life was like where you come from, but here it's really weird. Get used to it. You're going to see all sorts of different people wandering around, and every day people and places and things and other parts of reality just like you all come crashing into this little city. Tip, if somebody is wearing a completely put-together outfit that doesn't look patchworked at all, like it was all made at the same time in the same place, they either have money or they're new. Either way, they're dangerous. Now, besides becoming a pro quester, you can either sign up to be a corp corpse drone or go adventuring into the Aether Fields and probably get swallowed up or warped into a mutant. You could join the city's reality watch or the Border Defense League. Basically, anything you did at home, we probably do here. Only more and better. Definitely weirder. Oh, but my time is up, doll. I gotta go on my lunch break, so good luck, and uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Hope you got some mortacity in you. Hmm.